Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to run Apple's macOS operating system on a Windows PC using VMware Workstation. Whether you are a developer, tech enthusiast, or just curious about macOS, this is a great way to experience Apple's computer operating system without needing an actual Mac computer. This video provides a step-by-step -step guide to achieve this, ensuring you do not face any issues during the setup process. Before we start, ensure you have a relatively modern PC with decent specs. I recommend at least 8GB of RAM, though 16GB or more is recommended for better performance. So let's get started. I assume you have already downloaded and installed VMware Workstation from the official website. To add macOS support on VMware, download the Auto Unlocker tool from GitHub. Once downloaded, extract the download zip file. Run the unlocker executable from here and click on patch. You should see something like this. Now we are ready to create our first macOS virtual machine in VMware Workstation. So open the VMware Workstation. On the VMware window, click Create a new virtual machine. Choose to install the operating system later. Pick Apple Mac OS X and choose your Mac OS version. I am going to install Mac OS 11 Big Sur, but you can install any Mac OS version you want. Name the virtual machine. Increase the disk size to 100 GB. Now click on Customize Hardware. We need to allocate more resources for the VM. Increase the memory to at least 8 GB and CPU cores to at least 4. You may adjust this based on your host computer's resources. Now let's link the macOS ISO file. Click on CD DVD. Then select use ISO image file. Select your macOS ISO file. Click finish to create the VM. Your virtual machine is almost there, but we need to adjust a few things in its configuration file. Here's the path to this file. Just navigate to this directory. Find the virtual machine configuration file which is in the VMX format. Right click it and open it with notepad. You need to add these lines at the end. These changes make your VM act like a MacBook Pro 14. Save the VMX file and close it. Now click play virtual machine to start your VM. If it goes well, you will see the Apple logo and a progress bar. Eventually, the VM should boot into macOS recovery mode. Open Disk Utility. We need to format the 100GB virtual disk we added earlier. In the left menu, we can see two virtual drivers. The first one is the 100GB drive where we'll install macOS and the second is the macOS installer drive we use to boot up. Select the first drive and click Erase at the top. Give it a name. Keep the format and scheme as they are and click erase to format the disk. Close disk utility when it's done. Now choose reinstall macOS from the main menu. Click continue, accept the terms, select the virtual disk you just formatted and click install. This could take about 30 minutes, so grab a coffee while macOS installs on the virtual machine. If it goes well, you will see the Windows wizard. This is just like setting up a new Mac.
click through the steps, create a user account and choose your options. You can now use this VM just like any other Mac computer. By default, macOS does not support VMware full screen mode on Windows PCs. As you can see, the VM's resolution is capped at 1024 by 768 pixels. While this resolution is functional, we can enhance it by installing VMware tools for macOS on this VM. VMware tools will also boost the performance by increasing the video memory from 3 MB to 128 MB. Additionally, it will activate extra features such as shared folders between the Windows host and the macOS guest machine. You can download VMware tools from the actual Broadcom website. Once downloaded, unzip the file. Now, we'll mount the darwin.iso file in the virtual machine. So shut down your virtual machine. Open VMware Workstation. Click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Click on CD DVD and choose the darwin.iso file you extracted from VMware tools. Close the settings and start up the virtual machine. You should now see a VMware tools icon on the macOS desktop. Open it and run install VMware tools. Enter your password and allow the installer to make the changes. If you get a notification about block system extensions, open system preferences and allow the VMware extension. When the installation succeeds, choose to restart the VM. After restarting, VMware tools will be installed and running in the background. As you can see, after installing VMware tools, the video memory has been increased to 128 MB. Now, if you want to set a native resolution, open the terminal. In the terminal window, enter this command. I am going to set the resolution to 1280 by 800, but you can set any standard resolution you want. After installing VMware tools, you can also share folders between your Windows host machine and the macOS guest machine. This step isn't required, but it's super helpful if you need to move files between them. Choose the Options tab, then Shared Folders. Select Always Enabled and click Add. Choose a folder you want to share. Finish the wizard and restart your macOS VM. To access the shared folder, open Finder, click the Go tab, then click Computer. Open VMware Shared Folders and you will find the folder you added. Now any files you put in here from either Windows or macOS will be available on both sides. 
This makes it super easy to move files back and forth. All right, guys. We have walked through a complete guide on how to install macOS and VMware Workstation on your Windows PC. Hopefully, this video made the process super easy and now you're enjoying your virtual Mac. If you run into any issues or have questions, drop a comment below. And if this video helped you, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorials like this. Thanks for watching. Happy virtual Macing.